With the December update comes content for Season 5 in the MCC. It's in the game. You can look at it now. It comes with a lot of new armor customization in Reach and in Halo 3, as well as a ton of new weapon skins. In this video, I'm going to showcase all of it. So stay tuned throughout the whole thing to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you our news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. It really lets me know you want to see some more content like this. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on within the Halo franchise, make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get right into the content here. So yes, you heard me right. The top of this video is correct. Like the December update brings season five content into the MCC. There's a ton of extra bugs and features that were fixed within this update as well. We'll bring that up in a different video. In this one, I want to showcase all the new customization that's gonna be coming in season five most notably the armor sets and the weapon skins for halo 3 and halo reach but some of these armor sets might be kind of controversial because they don't exactly match the art style super well we have some brand new customization we've never had before in a halo game so let's just jump right into it here we are in the mcc i turned off my webcam just to avoid any kind of covering of some customization you guys wanted to look at so let's check out the halo reach stuff we have two new armor sets coming in with this game here guys if we check out the helmet, scroll all the way down to the bottom, we have two new helmets. We have the Mariner variation, which is this one right here. You might have seen it in a leaked video, which is actually kind of interesting how this actually came into the game. You have the base defiant version, which is a cool cracked version. You have the Mr. Chief version, which is like a spray painted on like Mr. Chief face. It was pretty awesome. And the Opterex version as well, which I think is actually kind of cool looking as well for different kind of variation of an armor set. And then we have the a famous GRD. If you're looking for GRD, you gotta go under Akis Variations. And then you go into here, you can see the base version. You have GRD, boom, right there. The armor set that everyone's been talking about. The CBRN version, and we also have the one you've probably seen like on Halo Reach back in the day that was cut content, is this version. The GRD CBRN version of GRD helmet. You'll find it within Halo Reach. The interesting thing here, they have default R. I don't know if this opens up the opportunity to have that right arm, your left arm or right arm be the mechanical arm if you want to do that in Halo Reach. I knew that they were bringing that in for Halo Reach, so that's a new cool feature there. We also have the EXO body piece right here as well. It's a new chest piece within Halo Reach as well, which is pretty freaking awesome. And here comes the big boy of the update here, guys. Halo 3 content right here. So let's click into this, check out the armor customization, go into helmets. This is probably the most notable for difference right here. If you scroll down, all these locked armor sets are new coming to Halo 3. So let's check them out. We have Air Assault one, which actually looks pretty sweet. A lot of these are, I think, are from Rift, either from Halo Online or actually from Halo 4 even. Uh, but I'm pretty sure these are all from Halo Online because I think these all look rather familiar as well. So this is what I was talking about, how some of these armor sets might not exactly match the uh, aesthetic that Halo 3 went for. Now, this is either going to be a good thing or a bad thing. Personally, I think it's a good thing. I'm not too bad out of shape about the customization within Halo 3. It looks a little different than what I remember back in the day. But as long as, you know, people can enjoy it and maybe you can find some new customization options with it, that'd be pretty sweet. Uh, you might be looking at these armor sets. If you can see in the video, it might be kind of low res. Uh, this is kind of standard when it comes to preloading content into the uh, MCC that uh, you'll see a much more lower res version just to kind of have it in the game. Then once the final update comes for season five, that's when you'll see the customization really kind of come in. Look, you can actually customize the lower arms now in Halo 3. That's pretty freaking awesome. I don't know about you guys, but I actually really like this feature, being able to customize that much right there. You can customize the legs, look at this. They just went all out on the Halo 3 customization. They really stepped it up in this. Now, like I said, not all of it's gonna be matching exactly with the aesthetic of Halo 3, but I mean, it's still pretty freaking cool. Also in Halo 3, we actually do have some shoulder customization new armor sets coming in as well. You can see here, pretty much the kind of same kind of sets that we've seen previously with all the other new ones coming in, but now you can customize the shoulder pieces as well. This is probably gonna be one of the, you know, on par almost with Halo Reach now, with Halo 3 on the MCC. Again, like I said, like some people might not like these different kind of, uh, you know, newer art style coming into Halo 3. Honestly, it's, I don't think it's that too game breaking. You know, people like, people customize the game how they like, and. If they like it, they'll use it. If they don't like it, they won't use it. You know, it's not like a don't like it, don't use it kind of situation, but I feel like it's also kind of more just let the public get the chance the opportunity to customize how they like. I think more customization, the more options, the better. We have a brand new customization we've never had in Halo before. That is the tech suit. You can actually customize the text under suit now in this game. Now it might be kind of small to see right here. I might blow it up in the video 
you can see it better, but check this out, you have Gen 2, which kind of more like a textured, kind of almost Halo 4 look to it. And also you have Gen 2 Tinted. The difference between these is that the Gen 2 Tinted actually has a colored undersuit. If you switch our color right here, you can see that the, uh, the undersuit color is changing there as well. But say if you like the texturing of the undersuit, but don't like the coloring of it, you can just do Gen 2. You can see right here, it remains a black undersuit that way as well. But that's not everything, guys. We have more stuff. We have some weapon skins, and I know you're probably thinking, oh my God, did they actually do it? Did they put the gold battle rifle into Halo 3? Well, you got the great journey now. You got the desert camo, and you're gonna get yourself a gold battle rifle. That's right, the gold battle rifle is in the game now. It's gonna be coming in season five as well, with long as the lucky shot gray scales like all these other camos look pretty freaking awesome like this scarlet thorn one that looks pretty awesome not gonna lie that might be my new weapon skin honestly because gold looks cool and stuff like that in this unreal 4 rendering of all these weapon skins but in game they end up kind of looking a little bit more just yellowy kind of thing you know uh we have more for the sniper rifle we have the red alert which looks awesome hazard pay which is really cool uh, the shotgun doesn't have anything new the rocket launcher has hazard pay for halo 3 now Assault Rifle now has Desert and Hazard Pay. The Magnum here, you see has Hazard Pay and uh, Tech Camo Bravo mixed in there as well, which, I mean, these look awesome. I'm not gonna lie, like these look pretty freaking sweet. Got the Art of War for the SMG, Gold for the SMG, and Scorpio, which I actually kinda like this one the most. It's most simplistic, but I think just like the green and black just really stands out a lot and it just looks really cool. And we also have the Schism coming in for the Fuel Rod. I think also for the Needler, we had some more customization. Yeah, we had the green coming in for the Needler there as well. Same thing with the Plasma Pistol, you have Schism coming in here as well. Just, I think they were like, let's just make everything green. <laughs> <laughs> or something like that. Uh, cool addition here. Previously, we had the only the Schism version for the Plasma Rifle, but if you look over here, you have the Keeper version. Now, yeah, it just adds like some blue stripes and some different kind of coloring on the inside of the weapon, but I think it just actually just looks cooler. I like the accents on it. It's pretty freaking awesome. And the cool thing here is that now we have Covenant Carbine customization coming in as well. We have the Schism, so make it green. That's awesome. You have the Zealot one right here, which makes it yellow, which also does look pretty cool. Uh, this one, though, it's still my favorite. Again, you just add some stripes and it completely changes the visual appearance of the weapon, right? The Splendor one actually looks pretty freaking cool. That's probably the one I'm going to rock because it still kind of harkens back to the classic version of the skin, but also just kind of adds a new flair to it, which I really like. Oh, and you thought we were done, but we're not. We have vehicle skins to check out for Halo 3 as well. We can check out the Warhog. There's no new skins coming for that one. The Gosshog doesn't have anything new either. The Ghost, nothing new. Banshee, nothing new. The Scorpion, nothing new. And the mongoose does have hazard pay coming in so that's the one new uh vehicle skin you got coming in for halo 3 right there which you know does look pretty awesome i wish there were more chances to have some more opportunity to have more customization for this i think everyone's gonna be just gonna be rocking the same camo we'll kind of lose that customization you know what i mean so that's all the new customization coming in with season five guys all my thoughts on it like i said previously you know some of this armor sets don't exactly match the aesthetic that the game was probably going for back in the day especially with the new customization coming for halo 3 bringing in el dorito armor sets which are pretty freaking awesome in my opinion just to have that happen I, to me it feel like it kind of opens the floodgate to having more content from halo online being brought into the mcc they did bring up in a previous development update talking about how they you know, we'll, we'll look into the opportunity of possibly bringing in Halo Online maps into the MCC, which would be pretty freaking awesome. I think this is just like the beginning of bringing those armor sets. Some of the armor sets, actually, not all the armor sets from Halo Online are in this game. So we could see some more in the future and we could possibly see some maps being brought in, which would be really, really cool. Uh, the, especially the remake of Turf, guys. If you've never had a chance to play that, it looks so cool. You definitely need to check it out. And yeah, like I said, some of the customization might not match the art style exactly, but in my opinion, I think just more options the better i'm not too bent out of shape about trying to keep like the visual integrity of the game uh when it comes to the multiplayer side of things i think you can kind of go a little have a little fun with it and then when it comes to like campaign because that's much more of an immersive kind of experience that's where i kind of withdraw the line with that but of course you know let the players customize how the game they like you know if they want to do something weird and funky and just kind of break the game sure why not if they want to keep it more realistic and kind of true to the art style they can do that too I think mainly for multiplayer, I'm not too bent out of shape with having like Halo 4 looking kind of items being brought into Halo 3. I'm fine with that to be honest. If you want to catch whenever Season 5 goes live guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel keep yourself up to date. If you missed any content from me recently, check out the videos on the screen right over here. I got a link to all my news and informational videos we've been out of the loop for the last few days or so. Thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it. I'll catch you all in the next video.
Peace out.